and Mary Day 10 of Vlogmas. I hope you've enjoyed it so far and I hope you enjoyed today's video where I'm going to be telling you some of the other traditions that other countries have when it comes to Christmas. Also, I'd just like to apologize in advance for any butchering of language that might happen. I only really speak Danish and English. Sorry. First stop is in Germany, where they don't just ask for Christmas presents from Santa, but also from someone called Das Christkind, which directly translates means Christ child. But this person isn't supposed to be baby Jesus. It is a girl with blonde hair and Christ-like qualities, and children will write letters to the Christ child that are covered in sugar to make them look prettier and lay them out in the windowsill, hoping for presents. Every year in Nuremberg, a girl is chosen to be the Christ child and throughout the Christmas season she has different things and roles she needs to fulfill such as opening the Christmas market in Nuremberg and also visiting schools and old people's homes and just generally going around spreading joy. Next up is the Philippines where in San, San Fernando, San Fernando? San Fernando? San Fernando. <laughs> they hold a giant lantern festival to celebrate the beginning of the Christmas season. And it starts in the middle of December and it lasts until the beginning of January. In the festival, each barrio in San Fernando, which according to Google is the Philippine word for something that in English would be like a town or a village or a district, but each of these places in San Fernando will make a giant Christmas lantern and they will compete for prizes of whose lantern is the best. And because of this festival, San Fernando has been nicknamed the Christmas capital of the Philippines. Next up we have Italy, where the Christmas celebrations don't just end on Christmas Day, but they continue all the way to January 5th, which is also known as the Day of Epiphany. The reason they do this is because they celebrate the 12 days of Christmas, which unlike what popular music songs would probably lead you to believe, doesn't begin 12 days before Christmas, but begins on Christmas and leads up to the Day of Epiphany and each day honors a different saint in the Catholic Church. Catholic Church? Oh my God, language. It honors a different saint each day, that's the point. And each day also has its own set of celebrations that comes with it, so you have 12 days of celebrations. And finally, in the Brazilian countryside, they celebrate something that is called Folha de Rei but it's probably not pronounced like that. This celebration is a mix between Brazilian folklore coming to life and also celebrating the what, three wise men who found baby Jesus. And it's more like a community thing, as far as I could tell. And each town has their own way of celebrating it, but usually it involves a choir, clowns, a master of ceremony, some sort of parades, and flags. It also features songs that kind of manifest this folklore. And honestly, it just sounds really cool and like, an, like a festive way to come together and celebrate. I really enjoyed researching and learning more about traditions from around the world, and I hope you did too. And if you're an international student and you have some Christmas traditions back home that I haven't talked about, or you haven't seen anyone else talk about, please leave them in the comments down below and share your tr Christmas traditions with us. I'd love to know what goes on, because I know that each country has their own unique way of celebrating Christmas. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next day of Vlogmas, I hope you have great, wonderful days full of Christmas joy. Bye!